Senator Mitch McConnell tweeted this morning insisting that every legal vote should be counted, adding that the courts will resolve any disputes. A few hours later in Frankfurt, McConnell declined to condemn the president's unproven allegations of voter fraud. LEX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek has the story. As votes across the country are being counted, President Donald Trump is talking about election fraud. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. Those allegations are unproven, and critics are looking to other top Republicans to say something. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell did so in a tweet Friday morning, where he said in part, quote, every legal vote should be counted. Any illegally submitted ballots must not. All sides must get to observe the process. And the courts are here to apply the laws and resolve disputes. A few hours later, as soon as he approached the microphone at a press conference in Frankfurt, McConnell made it clear he would not be elaborating on the situation. Beyond that, I don't have anything to say on that particular subject. But after the president's comments, reporters continue to ask McConnell, trying to get more information out of him. But he stood firm and pushed back on those questions. What do you think about what the president had said? Yeah, I think what I said in the tweet this morning. What do you say to Americans who think that they need more from the Senate Majority Leader during this time? Yeah, I, I say to Americans, take a look at what I had to say this morning. Have you seen any evidence of voter fraud that the president is talking about? Look, I, I've already covered the subject. I've already covered the subject. I told you, I sent out a tweet this morning which covers my view of where we are. One concern some Americans have about the current election is that some people may resort to violence if the outcome is not what they want. So LEX 18 asked McConnell about the peaceful transfer of power. Senator, once the election is settled, do you believe there will be a peaceful transfer of power if Joe Biden wins the election? Of course, we've had a peaceful transfer of power going back to 1792 every four years. Uh, You've moved on to a new administration. So for now, the country waits. In Frankfurt, Carolina Buchak, LEXET News.